Hello there, Libra. Thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of March 28th through April the 3rd. On Monday, what you guys have coming up is the Four of Cups in Reverse. Four of Cups in Reverse is telling me that it'll be kind of tempting for you to have a pity party. Um, there's going to be reason for you to go ahead and be offended or feel dejected. <laughs> but the good news here is that you don't mess around with that. You know that you have better ways to spend your time and you are focusing on the opportunities that are at hand, not the disappointments that are going on around you. And that's really a great thing. I love having this card in reverse because it means that you get to move forward because your attitude is good. You get to move forward no matter what's going on around you. So really a good card to see come up for you on Monday. It's a great way to start the week. Just moving forward. Hey, I got this. That's the attitude there. Tuesday. What we have showing up here is the Eight of Swords. This is just a little bit of a stumbling block. It's cool if you get to see this video before Tuesday comes along because I can give you a little tip that might help. Um, the Eight of Swords basically talks about being stuck in a situation and not really knowing how to handle it or how to get out of it. Um, and so when we're in the stuck mode with the Eight of Swords, what's going on is there's something that we've done to limit ourselves in our own minds, but this limitation is completely of our own making. So we have gotten ourselves stuck. The cool thing about this is that it's pretty easy to get out of if you realize what's going on. So if you find yourself feeling stuck on Tuesday, or I have people tell me that things don't always happen the exact same day that I bring them up. So, you know, if you find yourself stuck on Monday or Wednesday even, you want to step back and look at the situation from a different perspective. So what I like to say is pretend that you're telling your neighbor about the situation and pretend that you can hear what their response would be to this situation. Because it's a completely, hopefully, objective um, person that really doesn't know that much about it that you can, whenever you imagine, well, what would they say? What would somebody who doesn't know anything about this situation say about what's going on? Um, that gives you a whole different viewpoint, a whole different perspective. And when you have that different viewpoint or perspective, then you can see very clearly where you're limiting yourself. Whereas if you're just looking out of, at it out of your own mind's eye, maybe you don't see that limitation. So that's the key there. Get a different perspective on whatever it is that has you feeling stuck on Tuesday or possibly Monday or Wednesday, but Tuesday's where it's showing up. Okay, so let's look at Wednesday's card, Libra. What you have coming in here is the devil. Ooh, everybody's always afraid of the devil. Why are we afraid of the devil? Silliness. Silliness to be afraid of the devil. I had a priest one time when I was a little girl that gave a sermon, and part of the sermon was talking about the devil and how he has power over us. And what he was teaching is that the devil really has no power over us technically at all. So what he does is he causes fear. He incites fear in us and that's how he gains power because he has us um, become fearful and do things based on fear instead of doing things based on love because that's our two great motivations. If you look at anything that you do, you do something either based on love or based on fear. Sometimes a combination, but usually either or. So when the devil inspires fear in us and that motivates us to act out of fear, we're obviously not acting in our own best interest or really walking on any kind of tuned in path where we're trusting God. So. When I see the devil card, all that to say, when I see the devil card, I really don't think anything terrible about it. All that means is that we are facing our fears on Wednesday. The devil's trying to scare us about something. And we're looking at that. When this card comes in upright, we're looking at that fear and we're going, yeah, why am I so afraid of that? What is the worst case scenario if this would really happen? What would I do about it if the worst case scenario happened? Hmm, there's a solution to this. So what's so scary? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so Wednesday's just facing some fears, giving them that old one-two knockout punch, baby. It's all good. Thursday, Libra is Ace of Coins in reverse. Ace of Coins in reverse just means you're giving somebody a gift. And this can come up in any part of your life. Ace of Coins in reverse can be um, allowing an ex who may be messed up to come back and have status in your life again. Um, but this can also be 
literally giving somebody a monetary gift, giving somebody a gift that's a material good. Um, this can be giving somebody a gift of time. Maybe you're helping them with a project that they need some help with, so you're stopping what you're doing to be able to help them. Maybe you're giving somebody a shoulder to cry on. Maybe you're giving somebody a really great idea that they can use and be productive with. But whatever the case may be, this all just boils down to you are passing along some kind of gift on Thursday. Now Friday, Libra's King of Cups, this is somebody that you're interacting with on Friday. Hmm. This is coming up as a guy, but I feel like for a lot of you this is going to be female more than usual. This is going to be a female situation that you're interacting with, a female person that you're interacting with. And this female um, is somebody who is very comfortable with her emotions, doesn't you know, shy away from feeling her own emotions, um, good at expressing emotions, good at releasing emotions when it's appropriate. And so this person that you're talking to on Friday is going to be sharing their feelings with you about something. For some of you, these are going to be your feelings about you or about your behavior. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be more work-oriented and have to do with some kind of task that's in front of you. Uh, maybe this person is sharing how they feel about something and they're also trying to find out, you know, how do other people feel about this too? Is this something that's just me? Or is this something that we really would be better off if we looked to make some kind of change or modification to the situation? How does everybody else feel? So um, that's what I see happening on Friday. Saturday for Libras. Five of Cups coming up. Five of Cups is actually a very proactive card. This is talking about that you had something that you were putting some energy or some effort into. Sometimes it's a relationship, but sometimes it's also a project. And um, what's happened is you weren't getting out of it what you expected to get out of it. And so when I see this card come up on Saturday, what this is telling me is that now you're adjusting your priorities. So where you were spending a lot of energy and effort on this thing that has been a little bit disappointing, now you're going to adjust. Now you're going to spend more energy and time on things that you are hoping won't be so disappointing. So you're just going to be kind of shifting focus. You're not taking all the energy and effort away from this thing. You're just shifting some of it somewhere else. Okay. All right, so on Sunday, two of swords in reverse. This card is popular on Sunday this week. This is at least the second time I've seen this. And this is only the seventh video. Okay, so two of swords in reverse on Sunday just means that you have a decision that's in front of you. This decision generally will have to do with two different people or maybe two different groups of people or two different companies, something along that line, two different entities that are associated with people. <laughs> Excuse me. And so you're procrastinating on this decision, but basically you're being asked to decide between two. You're being made to or uh, encouraged to choose one over the other. And what's going on here is you're getting two completely different stories from each one. So you really don't know what the real deal is, like what's really going on, why I have to choose, you know, what is the real deal? This can be two friends that have sort of, you know, had it out with each other and now they want you to pick one over the other, but neither one of you is telling, neither one of them is telling you the full story. Or maybe one is and the other isn't, but you have stories that don't match and you don't know what to believe. So this card really talks about having to make a tough decision like that. Um, there may be a lot of emotion involved in this decision. And you don't have all the information. And so you, I think that you sense that you don't have all the information. You realize that you can't trust everything that you're hearing here. And you are just really not wanting to make this decision. You don't want to decide between these two people, whether it's two friends or whether it's two children or two siblings or whatever it is, you don't want to make that decision. So you're just procrastinating as long as you can, hoping that they are going to work it out without you having to choose one before that happens. Uh, for some of you, that strategy is going to work and they will. For others of you, um, not so lucky. And um, some of your time with your friends or your siblings or whoever this is may have to be modified because of them not wanting to be near each other. So if you're used to hanging out with both of them, all of a sudden now that could be a challenge for some of you. Okay. 
So anyway, that is your week, Libra. Thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week. I will see you back here the next time. Peace out.